Hello everybody, my name is Vince, and today I'm going to show you guys yet another tutorial. Uh, this time around, I'm going to be teaching you about how to go about doing the infrared feature in Game Boy Color emulators. So recently, I just thought of this out of whim, what if you could uh, do infrared and stuff, and lo and behold, there is in fact an emulator called GBE+. Plus. I believe it stands for Game Boy Extra Plus, and it is created by the user Shonumi in uh, GitHub. It uh, has a variety of uh, features, but what I'm looking at is the infrared communication feature. So here's uh, here's how we go ahead and do it. Um, we just download this, and it's important that we get to the 1.6 release as well. I'm currently using 1.7 for the demonstration. Uh, the 1.6 version has a file that is uh, important to make the 1.7 version run. I'm not sure why that file wasn't put there in the first place, but you know what? It's all good, you know, as long as it works. So uh, first I'm just going to extract these files. Uh, new folder. That looks good. That's the 1.7. And let's... Okay, so now we got a closer up. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is go to 1.7. Uh, gave us me an extra folder, just because I extracted it wrong, but whatever. So we're gonna go to this file, and uh, what we can see right off the bat is that it says code execution cannot proceed because of a file found in the 1.6 version uh, was not found. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so let's go find that file. Uh, I believe it's in this one. And let's go search libpng 16-16.dll. Let's go copy that. Close that search. Go back here. And I believe we just paste it right here. So yeah, it'll close, and let's reopen this thing. Perfect, it's open again. Wonderful. Wonderful. And there we go. That's uh, how we. That's how we start opening it. And I will meet you again in just a second to get everything prepped up. So what we got so far is a few settings, a few net place settings, in fact. Uh, on the right hand side, I'm actually gonna switch from path to net play on this one. So, what we got here is uh, two instances of uh, the game on the left, a couple instances of the net play on the middle, and just, uh, and just my folder, just having all my games uh, for the examples on the right. Now, I am using two instances of Pokemon Crystal. My Pokemon Silver was not using its save data correctly, so can't use the Mystery Gift feature right now on that. So that's why we're using two instances of Crystal version. So let's check our settings. And two of the most important things to do is to use hard syncing. We want to set them to 16 specifically. And we're going to have to make our server ports 2001 and 2000 and for one of them and for the other one it has to ma it has to inversely match so we're going to do 2000 and 2001 i don't exactly know what the hard syncing and sync threshold is but it just helps in the connection somehow not too informed on that uh the instruction manual just said uh, make sure you both are using hard syncing or not use hard syncing, you know, at the same time. Have them checked or unchecked on both instances. So we're just going to be doing the defaults, hard syncing, sync threshold, 16. So fingers crossed, hope this works. 
Okay, so for this part, I'm going to have to do this uh, via phone camera uh, as opposed to uh, streaming just because uh, every time I try to record, it just crashes the games. So we are going to press F5 on one side. And you can see up there, it's trying to establish a remote connection. It'll do that for about 10 seconds. So no Netplay connection has been established. So we're gonna do F5 again. And now we're gonna do it on uh, this one. And look, look at that, look at that. They uh, actually connected. So we are going to press A on both devices which is the Z key for me. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Ah! Oh. Look at that! We got a Super Nintendo! Yo! So, you'll see it chugging. Uh, all you gotta do is press F6 or just end the Netplay connection se session. So, we're actually going to continue on this side, just as proof that we, in fact, got it. So, I think since we got a Super Nintendo on that, on the right side over there, uh, I don't think we have to, like, uh, let's just toss this paralyzed heel. Girl van... Then we got the X-Accuracy from the left-hand side. So I think we're going to have to fly on over to our house. Let's get Biggles out here. Go to Newbark Town. Go upstairs. And we'll have to turn on our personal computer. Uh, decoration, game console, set up the Super Nintendo. There it is. It's an adorable Super Nintendo. Yo, look at that. We did mystery gift. So another thing I will just uh, say is uh, the infrared feature for Game Boy Color also works for Pokemon TCG2, but not the first one. They are still working on the first one, trying to get that to work. But it does work for the sequel. And uh, that should be everything. As long as, you, uh, as long as you have your server port to 2001, 2000, and then 2000 to 2001, and then boot the games... So I'll show you an example of what happens when it doesn't. So you'll see SIO error could not open a port on D7D0. Now I don't believe it does the same thing since this one is the server. Since this one's the, the player one. I guess it like recognizes player one from player two. But if we do it again. Oh, now it's crashing. Yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah, you'll notice about this thing, it tends to crash a lot when you when you tend to mess around with it a lot. So <laughs> that's uh that's one flaw that hopefully they'll work on. But yeah. Uh hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully that all made sense. My name is Vince. And if you enjoyed this, I'm glad that you like old video games as much as I do. And if you didn't, ah well. I guess I'm not your thing. Anyways, goodbye.